Hello, my name is Stephen Upton and this short film is about the Essex Farm British Military Cemetery. This map is of the Eeps area. Every one of those red dots represents a British military cemetery. Essex Farm is situated just to the north of Eeps by the side of the canal and also by the new motorway, the N38. Essex Farm British Military Cemetery was situated next to an advanced dressing station of the same name and burials commenced here in April of 1915 during the Second Battle of Eeps and ended in August of 1917 and from that point onwards we had the Third Battle of Eeps and of course the front line moved further away. Many of the burials here are from the 38th Division and the 49th Division and in the background the obelisk upon the canal bank is the memorial of the 49th Division. The cemetery is situated immediately adjacent to the canal and just over that grass bank in the distance the canal is immediately behind that. There are 1,102 graves in this cemetery uh, most of them British, although there are many Canadians here as well. And there's one just coming up there where you can see the Canadian flag. Uh, they're very distinctive because they have the maple leaf on them. It was, of course, in April of 1915, during the Second Battle of Eeps, that the German army used gas for the first time. And there's the very famous stand of the Canadian soldiers at Gravenstaffel, uh, and you can just see the 49th Division Memorial there in the background. Uh, at Gravenstaffel in 1915, where the Canadians stood their ground and managed to hold the front line during what must have been a terrifying experience, being exposed to this new weapon without any idea what it was and with no protection. And it is said that the soldiers were urinating on their socks and tying them over their mouth as some form of filter. Very quickly, gas hoods and res various types of respirators were introduced uh, to give soldiers protection. But still, many thousands of soldiers not only suffered, but died from the effects of gas. My own grandfather, actually, as a consequence of being gassed, he had emphysema later in his life and died at only the age of 51. Uh, largely brought on about the effects, by the effects of being gassed. This cemetery here has probably one of the saddest graves of any cemetery. Valentine Joe Strudwick, age 15. Uh, very sad. And as you can see, still visited today, where people lay wreaths and toys. There's the 49th Division Memorial. And as we pan round now across the cemetery and round to behind where I am, there's a row of concrete dugouts. During April of 1915, they were not concrete at that time. They were largely dugouts dug into the canal bank with sandbags at the front and wooden planks on the roof and probably sandbags again. And it was right here that then Major, later Lieutenant Colonel John McRae, wrote his famous poem, In Flanders Fields. Later on in the war, 1916-1917, these dugouts were reinforced uh, to the extent where you can see them today. Uh, good job, really, because if they'd have left them just as sandbags and wooden planks, they'd have long since gone. But built as strong and as sturdy as you can see them now, they'll probably still be there in a thousand years' time. But it was somewhere right in this area that John McRae, for 17 days, he was a doctor, a, medical, a Canadian medical officer, for 17 days he tended the wounded that were streaming back from the front line during the April fighting of the Second Battle of Eeps. He himself died in January of 1918 
uh, from the effects of the flu epidemic. It's hard to imagine what it would have been like. The original dugout, which John McRae worked in, measured two and a half metres square. Full of wounded, poor light, operating on people, trying to save their lives. It's no wonder that so many didn't survive. Somewhere near here, on the 2nd, 3rd of May, 1915, the Canadian Major, later Lieutenant Colonel John McRae, wrote his famous poem, In Flanders Fields. In Flanders Fields the poppies blow, Between the crosses, row on row, That mark our place, And in the sky the larks, Still bravely singing, fly, Scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead, Short days ago we lived, Felt dawn, saw sunset glow, Loved and were loved, And now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, To you from failing hands we throw, The torch, be yours to hold it high, If ye break faith with us who die, We shall not sleep, Though poppies grow, in Flanders fields. This film is dedicated to the memory of Lieutenant Colonel John McRae and Rifleman Valentine Joe Strudwick. <laughs>